You are the eagle bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the eagle bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I'd bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's an odd request, but uh, I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of Dionysus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all when questioned. Perseus? I know his story well, as if we were cousins, both raised at the base of Mount Olibos. Do not fear. I will hold your children fast with my tail. Hello, I'm... The Eagle Bearer. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the goddess about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Acrisius, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, Danai. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the Oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The Oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson, but Danai was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked Danai in a bronze room open only to the sky. Ooh! However, Mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. Danai gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it! King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus. So he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and tossed them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid! Poor Perseus! A kindly old couple, Amphitryon and Alcmini, found Perseus in the sea and brought him to their farm in Smalpolis, taking him as their son. What about his mom, my namesake? Shh, listen. Ira was angry, though, and sent snakes to kill the baby. But Perseus was too strong, and he strangled the snakes in his crib, revealing his godly nature. That doesn't sound right. There are different ways to tell the story, you know. And this story is for the crows? The cruel king of Seriphos, Dictis' brother, Polydectis, decided he wanted to marry Danai, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Dictis couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. <laughs> Christos, that's your job. I will keep the stinky king from marrying you. The cruel, uh, stinky king became angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polydectis sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said, by killing a great monster. I knew it! Shh, I knew it too. Polydectis told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polydectis knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinker! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle, and Athena gave him a bronze shield, polished, mirror-bright. 
Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal Pegasus sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone, rescued Andromeda, and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polydectes relentlessly pursuing the Nai. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. When he saw Medusa's head, Polydectes turned to stone. Yes! That was not all. Hades appears with a pack of giant scorpions called Scorpiox and kills Andromeda and tries to kill Perseus. Huh? But Perseus throws his sword of Zeus at Hades, forcing him back into the underworld. Wait, wait. It's supposed to be Hermes' sickle. And Andromeda doesn't die. You're telling it wrong! Uh, in the end, Perseus wins. Zeus offers to make him a god, but Perseus refuses. So, instead, Zeus brings Andromeda back to life because... She was only mostly dead. Wow, that was so wrong and so boring. You are a sticky storyteller. And that story was poop! I am sorry for your audience, Evil Bearer. Though from what I heard, it did sound like you deviated somewhat from the traditional tale. Ah, uh, apologies. Magistrate Xanthi told me that you've been having trouble with your farm. Crop failure. It's as if Ares herself salted the earth. How are the crops failing? Blight. Few plants grow, and the ones that do are wilted and covered in spots. The gods would never let this happen if they were happy. It's my godless Elotes, I tell you. You're a messenger of Zeus. You show them the light. I'll find out what's happening. Oh, thank Zeus. My Elotes, Tefta and Maron. They work the fields, but they do not respect the gods. Teach them. I'll go talk with your Elotes and see what they know. Mistios? Here. Your master claims this blight is the will of the gods. What do you think? Sometimes crops fail. Could be dry soil, could be insects. It's a shame about the donkey. He was more crucial to the farm's success than the master. Or you, for that matter. How can I make clearing the ground easier? The hoe I'm using is falling apart. I have to fix the blade every few swings. Something more sturdy would make it go faster. It's not like you're shackled to this patch of land. What's preventing you from getting a new hoe? Have you ever been beaten so hard you lose hearing in one of your ears? That's what happened last time I went to market without permission. Oh, of course. I'll look for one. Here you go. This should make digging easier. You're all right for a stranger. Look, the water's tasted like a rusty blade for the past few weeks. Last time I had water like that was when I was downriver from a blacksmith. Thank you. Journey across the sticks be a more peaceful end than this. Debris might be getting stuck in this net. 
Maybe the dead man was a fisherman. Huh. These don't look like the knife wounds of a man. I bet it's the metal from the armor giving the water a bad taste. is going to linger on me. At least the river runs clear now. I heard that the crops haven't been producing this season. Laniki expects more crops every year. The soil needs to rest. So there could be nothing else causing crop shortage? I didn't say that. You know more than you're saying. My stomach aches and it's hard to concentrate. It's a shame that there is no mint around to chew. Where would I get mint? The master keeps dried herbs up at the house. I'll go find some mint for you. Here you go. The herbs you needed. Fresh is better for my stomach, but since the blight... ...dried is all we have left. The back patch of land is riddled with blight like I've only seen once before. My old master lost his whole farm to it. I'll never forget this smell. The back of the farm? I'll take a look. I wonder anything grows in this field with all this mess crushing the plants. Tanners in Kefalonia use something that smells awful to make leather. It can't be good for the soil. The earth is stained here. That can't be good for the soil. It seems like fire is the only way to make sure of ending this blight. Everything up around here. Now I'm beginning to understand Tefta's anger. The diseased crops have been burned, and the river is cleared. That should be the last of the blight. Oh, you truly are God sent. What was the cause of the rot? <sighs> I can see why your Elotus would anger the meteor. Yes. You see how they mistreat me and disrespect me? They don't know how good they've got it. I'm glad you were able to strike a modicum of fear and respect into them. We must all learn to fear and respect the gods. To do otherwise is to risk their wrath. You wouldn't happen to be the eagle bearer, would you? Me? Yes, I am. Where do you know justice? Your hair must have been woven by Athena. Your 
body is like a sculpture made by the masters. And your arms look so strong. Strong enough to... Strong enough to... Strong enough to carry this basket to my husband, Calibos. Oh, right. The magistrate mentioned you. It'll be easy to carry. Thank you so much. Let me know if you need anything. I'll help with your delivery. What's in here? Bricks? A Mystios? Well met. What brings you to our camp? You are Calibos? Your wife sent me to deliver this package. I think it might be some kind of offering. Zefxo is a good woman. She's gifted me with a basket fit for Dionysos. Earthly pleasures? She made it sound like it was a case of life and death. A deathly hangover, maybe. Boys, we're having a good night. Care to join us, friend? I never say no to good wine and good company. I expected no less from you. Could someone pass the water skin? Oh, could someone pass my head? I think I left it farther down the beach. Surely this is the after effects of the mushrooms. I remember the chicken coop. I remember the farmer's field. I do not remember building a Trojan horse. Uh, it was just here when I woke up. We offer it to the gods for safe passage across the seas. Boys, let's move this down to the beach. I don't trust that horse. I've got my eye on you. I hope you have a point for the boasted to a friend that I was a better tactician than Odysseus himself. Today I was proven wrong. You live to fight another day. Learn from this. Please, thank my wife for her festive gift. I don't know if I should thank her or curse her.
Thank you for aiding all of us in Pitana. Stories of you will live amongst us for many years. I help where I can, but thank you. A reward for all your help. No ordinary wolf. Move. to see you again. The pelt of the Ligaon wolf. 
A wolf is not only a vicious predator, but a cunning adversary. Many have fallen before it. If I fall for something, it won't be a beast, but someone here on Hios. Don't talk of falling here. Rather think of ascending to new heights. I'll return when I have more pelts. to Pefka, home of the Minotaur, and our world-famous Minotaur tunics! Tunics! Minotaur tunics! One size fits all. Uh, I don't see how one size can fit everyone. My name's Arsenios. If you want to know how to defeat the Minotaur and become the Greek world's most famous warrior, then this is the tour for you. You sell it well, kid. Let's go on your tour. You're not worried someone's going to steal your world-famous Minotaur tunics? Who would? They're tunics for Minotaurs. As you can see from the statues, the Minotaurs are fearsome foe. So don't forget this exclusive tour tip. He hates being stabbed. And particularly the short objects. They say it's his only weakness. Behold! An exact replica of the Minotaur. Actual Minotaur size may vary. Where's the rest of him? Up the hill. Some of the workers lost control moving into the place. It killed two of them. Horns tore them clean apart. Well, not clean apart. Sounds like even Minotaur statues are deadly. Oh, they're the deadliest. They say the sales himself was killed by a Minotaur statue. I've heard many tales of the Minotaur. They usually make the sales sound more... heroic. Well, Sparta's not known for its quality education, is it? Next thing you tell me Medusa's real? <sighs> Let's just continue the tour. Hey! In Pefka, the hero's always right. This way. I can't believe we missed him! Here's another helpful tip you won't get on any other it's tour. The Minotaur? He's at the morning. Trust me, I know my Minotaur. I've sure like been the in Minotaur. this business 27 years. Warriors from all over the Aegean come to Pefka to face the mighty Minotaur, hoping to claim his head as the ultimate prize. So far, well... <clears throat> he's killed all of them, but... Drinking freshly squeezed Minotaur hoof elixir will no doubt give you the oomph you need to triumph. And let me guess, you've got a vial ready for purchase. It's just like Pater always said, never leave home without the ground up hooves of a mythical creature. You never know when you'll need some Minotaur hoof elixir. You've made a wise purchase, my physically responsible friend. Now come, there's so much more to see. I'm not saying I'm responsible for breaking the Minotaur statue, but I'm also not saying I'm not responsible. <laughs> And so concludes our tour. That's the tour? I didn't learn anything about the Minotaur. My customers are always satisfied. You can pay my associates on your way out. Please enjoy the rest of your stay here in Pefka. You're not going to get one Drachmi out of me. No, not one. I'm getting all of it. Get her! Don't damage her. Get a good price for it. Ah, well done, warrior. You've passed the survive the thugs test. Not, uh, not everyone passes that. You've earned an extra 10% off our world famous Minotaur tunics. Or, <laughs> you know what? 
You've given me a great tour. A tour of friendship, which I will totally pay for. Here, a large drachmi fee for your fantastic friendship tour. A pleasure doing business with you. Hey! Yeah? What's it like being a Mystios? <laughs> Could be worse. Among you. Ah, a mighty specimen approaches. Are you ready for honor? For glory? For certain death? I'm ready for two thirds of that. Then you seek combat with the Minotaur! I can't see any labyrinths or golden balls of string. But if there is a Minotaur to be fought, I'm listening. Then listen well, my observant friend. If you slay the Minotaur, you would be Theseus reborn! And you'd get to take home the prize of Pefka! Your Minotaur must die. Sounds like we have another contender! It's time for the trials of the Minotaur! Three trials. I'll do your trials. Pre-trials! I'll do your pre-trials. But then the Minotaur's head is mine. Fantastic! Don't forget to collect tokens of success from the trial masters to prove your victories. Ugh, another champion here to save us all from Pefka's long queues and overpriced Minotaur merchandise. Ah, may I introduce my wife, Cory? A rare beauty and so... So loud in front of my new friend. <laughs> Please, Leandros. There are more important things than glory. Not everyone with a sword seeks glory. Family comes before all else. Exactly, Mistios. That's what I keep telling this cowardly slime in the shape of my husband. Hey! It's... It's our daughter. Your daughter? Amara, she ran off days ago. I'm sure she's... she's just fine. Don't worry about Amara. Not when there's a Minotaur to slay. Grrr! Slash! Slash! Big fight! Lots of blood! Think of the fame, Mistios. Think of winning the prize of Pefka! Please, trust me, champion. Nothing is what it seems in Pefka. Solving one problem may just solve all the others. Go, my legendary friend! The pre-trials of the Minotaur await. Who among you is strong? Then I say, prove yourselves. Come face to face with me of the bloods of wounds. He of the entrails slacker horn. You know his name. You know his roar. The beast. The beast. The Minotaur. Here, a poorly muscled challenger. You are here to have your feeble frame crushed in my pre-trial of strength, yes? My feeble frame might be harder to crush than you think. <laughs> so brave, pretending you have a chance against a warrior as strong and handsome as me. We may fight for my token, yes. But maybe you would prefer to remain uncrushed and buy my token instead. Yes? No. We fight. Are you sure you would not prefer to spend your shiny drachmi? We fight. Then let the crushing begin. You should have bought my token, yes? Right. No, you must... Oh my God. Dead! We are extremely brave! use your bones to pick your other bones from my teeth! <laughs> This isn't what winning feels like! Crush! Crush! What? 
What am I feeling? What is this? The shame of defeat. This is defeat? Winning is better. Yes, the token of strength is yours. Have a wonderful day and please don't hit me again. I need all of the trial tokens. By the gods, the Mysterious. Do we still get paid or? this trial potential champion. The trial of endurance has seen more deaths than all the other trials combined. Were the others drunk when they jumped? Actually, yes. Very unprofessional of them. Should you survive the champion's dive, you'll need to retrieve my trial token from a chest in the darkest depths of the water below. Your token will be mine. No, please, I urge you. Pay me for my token. The watery dangers you must otherwise face to retrieve it are too great. You won't get one drachmi from me. I'll do the trial. Uh, if an excruciating underwater death is what you desire, who am I to stop you? Remember, you'll find my token in a chest at the bottom of the lake. I'll be waiting for you at the water's edge in the extremely unlikely event you survive. How exactly does going for a swim test my ability to slay the Minotaur? Minotaurs work in mysterious ways. Seems like a lot of hassle for a token. Looks like I'll have to get wet. looking for. It's been hours. Where are they? Why they have... What trouble have they gotten into now? Their mother's going to feed me to that damned Minotaur. This must be the pre-trial of accuracy. Hmm? Oh, yes. This is the pre-trial of accurately finding my Malaka's sons. Your sons? This doesn't sound like a trial. Have you tried raising sons? It's perhaps the greatest trial of all. Only by completing the world famous and totally legitimate pre-trial of accurately finding my sons can you proceed and face the Minotaur. So, if I find your sons and make sure they're safe, you'll give me your trial token? You'll get my token and my eternal gratitude. I'll find your sons, pull them out of whatever trouble they've stumbled into. They usually hide in the fields behind me. May I suggest you prepare yourself mentally and physically. This will be your greatest trial yet, brave warrior. Don't worry. I'll make sure your sons come home safe. You must find all three of them. And hurry, there's only so long my wife will believe they're off praying at the temple. There he is. I see him. Found him. Go home to your father and do as he says, or I'll tell the Minotaur where you live. But! Uh, I hate you, Mystios! Ouch, my arm! I'm not trapped! You can go away now! I'm not even in here! Yeah. 
everything you broke was really expensive. So, my pattern will probably kill you. I'm sure. Home. Now. I still need to find the Trial Master's other sons. You're safe. Go home. And listen to your pater when he calls for you. Yes, miss. Sorry, miss. My sons, you brought them home! You are right. They are little shits. Mm. I can't believe they listened to you. Consider the trial of accurately finding my sons complete! Of all my victories, this is the one I'll be most remembered for. That's all three tokens. Better meet Leandros at the warrior's rest. I jump! I need it! Clear his space! Because I'm jumping! I don't want anyone to get hurt from my jump. Back, stay back. I'll jump. You don't have to do this. There's always something to live for. No, not for me. I've got nothing. I am nothing. This isn't even armor. It's my mother's third favorite serving tray. I'm a failure. A failure! You look like a warrior to me. Even warriors feel fear. There's no shame in it. Fear helps us survive. It's temporary, but honor is not. You'll find no honor jumping off this building. Only death. Talk to me. Honor. Yes. <sighs> My village. <laughs> We're poor. We get little trade, fewer visitors. We're dying. I was chosen to kill the Minotaur, hoping it would make us famous. Put us on the map! Save us, maybe! But look at me. I'm no Minotaur Slayer. <laughs> I got robbed by a tiny tour guide my first day here. Minotaur Slaying isn't for everyone. Even if you go home without the beast's head, there will be another way to save your village. Yeah, you're right! All I have to do is lie to everyone! Do not put words in my mouth. Why not? They're good words. My people are kind and loving and somewhat dim. Really? Hard to believe. I just have to make them think I've killed the Minotaur. Our village will become a shrine to me. The new Theseus. Mori is the magnificent slayer of the Minotaur. We would prosper again. Sounds like a dream. A dream where people care about my village, trade with it. That's a dream worth having. I need to look convincing. Like a regal, conquering Minotaur killing hero. Best steal the Pefka leader's shiniest armor. Oh, and I need a weapon. Something I can say I pride from the Minotaur's cold dead hands. <laughs> cold dead hoofs? Don't worry. I'm here to help. Good. 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 Is there anything else I can tell you? I've heard enough. I'll find you an axe and armor worthy of a true Minotaur Slayer. Just don't jump. I wouldn't think of it. Don't leave my sight.
this is the armor Maurice described. It is shiny. <laughs> What are you doing in here? This is the axe the man from the roof wanted. Pretty heavy. And this is to be venetian. Everyone! Someone help him! Don't be a fool. Think of your mother. I'm back. And I have everything you need to successfully lie to your people. Oh, fantastic! And fear not, friend. This is a lie that will save my people. It'll put us back on the map. Well, um, can I, uh, can I have my items now, please? Of course. The axe and the armor are yours. Just uh, turn around for a second while I change. You look heroic. Like a warrior who could kill a whole family of minotaurs. Really? You're not just saying that. No, I mean it. Even I'm a bit intimidated by you now. Wow. It's okay, guys. I'm a hero now. I'm coming down. I feel pretty heroic. Here, can I help you with anything? Our leaders are mortal, vulnerable, and killable. That's never been more apparent. You talk more like a mercenary than an artist. Art is subversion, Mistyos. And there are more leaders and commanders in Athens who need to be subverted for the good of the people. So you'd like me to take care of the Athenian commander? Yes. His death is the only answer. Sounds like you can stop worrying. I've taken care of everything. The gods favored me the day we met. Take this for your trouble, Mistyos. All in a day's work. Only the best warriors rest here. Heroes. They aren't many. But they're heroes of the arena. Those who earned an honorable death. The others are buried in unmarked holes far from here. Nobody remembers them. When your time comes, do you think you'll be worthy of the title hero, Mistyos? I'd be more than worthy to rest here, if someone proved strong enough to kill me. I've heard tales of you and your exploits, Mistyos. Impressive, if they're true. Depends on what you've heard. I've heard a lot. A warrior adventuring across the land. Sometimes they're half beast, or half god, but always an eagle bearer. Tell me, is any of it true? They're all true. And there's more you don't know about. Good answer. I don't care if the stories are true. I can see you have it in you. A capacity for greatness. The potential to be... a real hero. I am Mayon. Cassandra. If you want to truly live, Cassandra, to become a hero of the arena, and to win riches beyond your wildest dreams, You'll need to fight in my arena. Sounds interesting. Good. Take my boat and head up the Pefka coast towards the shipwreck and into the mouth of the valley. There, you'll find the entrance to my arena and Skura, who handles my fighters. If he sees what I see in you, I think he'll have much to be excited about. I have your Malaikas tokens. No more games, no more schemes to rob me of my Drachmi. It's time to slay a Minotaur! Absolutely, Mistyos. Uh, no problem. But first, 
Perhaps you'd like to buy back your exquisite, uh, finely crafted trial tokens? This offer will expire in... Uh, By the gods! They uh, make for fantastic gifts. Strange. But I would like something to remember Pefka by. Then all that's left is facing our star attraction himself, the Minotaur! Are you ready to meet your doom? If your pre-trials are anything to go by, yes. Yes, I am. Well, good. Great. I, I, I want you to fight the Minotaur. You'll find the beast in the depths of the Cave of the Brave, on the Zithki Plateau. Two other warriors have just completed their pre-trials. You can speak to them for more information. They'll join you when you're ready to, you know, die horrifically. You've come all this way. Join us. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a very important uh, pottery lesson to attend. So... <clears throat> And you must be... the warriors. Look, brother! The final member of our Minotaur hunting party has arrived! When the beast sees our assembled might, he will moo miserably in fear! Do Minotaurs moo, or...? If it's all right with both of you, I'd like to strike the killing blow. Or can we at least say I struck the killing blow? I'm willing to haggle down to played a key role in distracting the Minotaur while allowing the killing blow to be struck. The Minotaur is a mythical creature. Only someone just as mythical could slay it. You're talking about me, right? The only myths about you, little brother, are the ones Pater paid to keep quiet. <sighs> this can only end well. Are you ready to ride? Let's slay a Minotaur. Leandro says it lives in the Cave of the Brave, on the Dicti Plateau. I say, let the Mino Tournament begin! If the Minotaur eats humans and lives right next to the population of Pefka, how are they all still alive? Perhaps the diet of Pefka disagrees with you. Good thinking, brother. Let us dip our blades and reach for the Anonians to gain an edge in combat. Whoever lives down here must be a monster. I am the Minotaur! What? Drop all your valuables and flee in terror, M mortal! Leave me your drachmi, and you shall be spared. Otherwise, Death by hoof awaits you! Fear my moo! Fear it? Malaga. I'm going to start stabbing until someone tells me what's going on! I 
said grrr. Oh, fuck it. Hi. There's no need for more blood. Just keep your horns away from me and tell me what's going on here. You can take off that mask. Leandros? I told you nothing is what it seems in Fefka. I'm... I'm happy to refund any expenses incurred. Please. It's my daughter, uh, Mara. Masked men are holding her captive deep in the canyons of Titi Plateau. Masked men? What kind of masks? Uh... White like marble. Bleeding from their eyes. Horrific! The cult. They control everything in Pefka. Lured champions from all over with the promise of Minotaur slaying glory. Only to swindle and ambush them down here in the dark. Honorless. If I don't do as they say, uh, Amara dies. If I take off my mask, or tell my wife, or ask for help, she dies. How many men have you sent to their deaths with a speech and a smile? Thousands. More. But their lives will never outweigh my Amara. She's all I have. But now I have you. Don't I? You. You can free her from those Malakas masked men. Tell me, whose face would Amara wish to see rescue her? Mine? Or her father's? Be brave, Leandros. Bravery, yes. You're right, Mistios. No matter what, I must be there for my Amara. Please, will you join me? We will save your daughter. Together. Thank you, Mistios. Meet me outside the ruins of Zakros on Vitki Plateau. That's where my daughter is and where I must be. These masked men, they're organized and unafraid. Their greatest weapon is no blade, it's our free. Every merchant, every man of his slave has enough drachmi out of the share to make me the flush. The meat of the Minotaur makes us all rich, and we turn a blind eye to the cost. Gah! Why is the suit chafing? I used a whole bottle of olive oil. Hard to breathe in a costume this magnificent. By Zeus, this bear doesn't breathe at all. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. You are the Minotaur. No, 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 the last one was better. I'm coming, Amara. Don't be afraid. And don't you be afraid, Leandros. She needs you. Should I fight alone? I'll stand with you, Leandros. No matter what happens today, Amara will be proud of her father. I see you're still a Minotaur. I faced many of the Greek world's deadliest warriors in this mask. Granted, I was just there to distract those warriors with my roars and threatening gestures so they could be ambushed and stabbed from behind. But wearing it makes me feel brave. And you look it. It would be an honor to fight alongside the mythical Minotaur. Yes! Yes! Moo! Don't do that. They must be keeping her underground. With hooves and heroics. We shall save her! But Zakros is well defended! How should we proceed? Quietly. I'll try to sneak in. Stay back here until it's safe. I can be stealthy! You have horns! <sighs> Go! I'll do my best to distract the guards. Where is your honor, you bastard?
Listen to me. Let me go. Please, please. fight. Take cover. Please. I'll find you when I know Your it's masks. safe. Thank you, Your thank masks. you, thank you. You saved me. Well... <gasps> Is that the Minotaur? Show her. Father? You're the Minotaur? Maybe don't tell your mother. I waited and waited and... You weren't going to leave me here, were you? You were just working on your plan to save me, right, Pater? Of course. I was always coming for you. I just... Uh, needed to find something first. The people who took you, if there's anything you overheard, anything that could help me stop them. While I pretended to sleep, their leader spoke of a meeting place in Kidonia. I wrote down all the masked men's whisperings. Hopefully something in here will be useful to you. My friend, we're heading to my wife. She keeps a vigil for Amara at the warrior's rest. Come with us. See the gift you gave. Our family, together. After you. Amara! Amara! You're alive! Mater! My family. You did this? Thank Leandros. When the time came for action, he charged. Despite being outskilled and... outcostumed, he fought courageously. Your husband is no coward. Perhaps there are some heroes here. No one's ever won the prize of Pepka! Everyone who's died facing the Minotaur has had their Drachni go in the vault! growing year by year. And now, a tiny but well-earned portion of it is yours. Thank you for a... a tiny portion? Of course. Less taxes, reasonable operational expenses, and... I'll make sure all of it reaches your boat, Mistios. You've earned it. <laughs> oh, and... Hmm. This is for you. A coward doesn't deserve to be the Minotaur. You do. Quite a compliment. Pefka is no longer safe for us. Freeing Amara will bring repercussions from people who are not known to be forgiving. But we're alive, and whatever future we have, we have it only because of you. Be safe. <laughs>